up guys it is great to see you back here on the channel in this video we're going to be talking about one of the new features that got released with davinci resolve 16.1.2 and that's how to navigate around your timeline a little bit easier so let's jump into the video and check it out So with the latest updated DaVinci Resolve, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that they added. And one of the things I found myself using quite a bit is the new timeline tools. So let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how they work. We're in DaVinci Resolve here and I got a project to open and we've got some new timeline tools, which are really cool. So we used to have our timeline view options right over here, although now you notice it's not there. So if you look all the way over to the left here, in the middle of the screen, you're going to see your timeline view options. And if you click on that, you've got the same options that we've had in the past. They just move the location of the button. But if you come back here, we have three tools here that we can now use to navigate around our timeline. So the first one here is Zoom Full Extents. So that's pretty cool. You click it and boom, you see your whole project, your entire timeline end to end. Makes it real quick to see your entire timeline. The next icon that we have here allows you to zoom in to wherever your playhead is. So let's say, for example, my playhead's here. I click that button. Boom, it zooms you right in nice and tight to wherever your playhead is. So if I knew where I wanted to go in my video, I could click the zoom out. I want to come over here and then I'm going to click the zoom in and boom, I'm zoomed in nice and close on my timeline. Now this third one is a custom view. So the third one allows you to use the zoom tool right here, which we've always had. But what's kind of cool is if you zoom to a certain point and let's say we zoom out and then I zoom way in, when I hit the custom one, it's always going to keep the same zoom level that I have set on the side here. So I could I could zoom you know way out like this and let's say I see my whole timeline, I come over here, I zoom way in and I wanna zoom way out. You click this custom zoom and it zooms you way out. Likewise, if you wanna be way zoomed in even more than this one, even more than your detail zoom, you can do that and set up your custom zoom to zoom in even farther. And just like we've always been able to, you can zoom in and out of your timeline by using command minus or command plus. All right, so there you go, zooming in, zooming out, moving around your timeline here with the new update of DaVinci Resolve. I didn't know if I'd use those tools that much, but I found myself using it quite a bit after working through a few projects with them. So if you like this video, it helps you out, give it a thumbs up. If you're into DaVinci Resolve, you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell notification so you're notified when I release a new video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.